Hi everyone, Jessica here. I'm a fitness model from Miami, and today I wanna to challenge you to finish this ab workout with me. It's gonna be 20 minutes long, it's gonna be intense, advanced, and it's gonna help you get amazing results. But before we get started, I wanna tell you about my superfood meal plan. If you've been looking for a great meal plan to follow to get amazing results, make sure that you check out the website below. Now let's go ahead and begin this challenge. We're going on our backs, and we're actually gonna stay down here for the whole time. For this first one, we're gonna do single leg touch, toe touch. So one leg up, you can keep this one here or if you're really looking to make it advance, keep it out, you're gonna reach for it. So we got one minute here. Now remember, this should be a challenge. So I want you to go for the hardest version of each workout. As long as you're not straining your neck, you can keep the hand out, but if you feel your neck starting to bother you, do put the hand behind it and really actually touch your toe. Notice that my other leg is in the air. It's not touching the ground. That's why it's advanced. 20 more seconds here. And really crunch that body. Twist it, make your abs work. 10 more seconds, five, four, three, two. Let's switch the legs straight into it. Remember this is called the ab challenge for a reason. It's supposed to be tough. It's gonna be turching fat around our midsection. You're doing great, keep going. Keep both legs extended. Keep your back flat on the ground. Good, 30 seconds left. Breathe. Last 15. Ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, knees in or right here. Make sure your knees are right above your hips. Keep that back flat on the ground and you're gonna reach for it and reach for it. So you're reaching for your knee. See how close you can get to it. So you're gonna be feeling this in your obliques which is the side of your abs, all the way to the middle of your core. Really important that you're keeping your back flat on the ground. Keep your knees together and keep twisting. Breathe. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, keep your head back. Now with the knees up, you're gonna now bring your knees to each side. So you should feel a nice stretch in your lower back, but make sure that your back, when you go in the middle, is staying on the ground. And reach it to your elbows, reach it. So this should be a stretch, 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 and then crunch, and all the way around. You're doing amazing. Let's keep working it. This should feel like a nice break from the other ones. Really twist that core. Engage that lower, those lower abs. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, right here, extend one leg out. We're gonna bicycle. 
Now add in the twist. Add in the twist. <sighs> Do it all the way. This is the advanced version, remember. We're not going for the easy one. Really important to keep your back on the ground. <sighs> Support your neck so that you don't strain it. Extend that leg, extend all the way out. <sighs> Let's keep our cores working. <sighs> Breathe. 25 more seconds. Reach that elbow to the knee every time, every time. That's 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Okay, for this next one, whew, we're gonna be right here and we're going to crunch. Crunch and hold and slow on the way down. We're here for 90 seconds. Keep your back completely flat on the ground. Does not, does not move. And back. And up, feel your entire core flexing. See, especially that bottom core engaging. How you engage it is by keeping your back on the ground and using your core to bring you up. Don't come up with your neck, come up through your core. It should be burning. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. We're already a minute in, last 30 seconds. We've got 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, legs up. We're gonna bring one leg down and up. We're shuffling them, not to make it extra hard. Bring your, bring your head up, arms behind your neck. For support, we're here for one whole minute. Make sure your entire back is on the ground. That's how we protect it. We ensure that it's only our core doing the work. Keep, keep those legs moving. Point your toes. Don't let your feet touch the ground only right above it. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, don't put your feet down. Remember, this is the challenge. Bring them low and now sh scissor all the way up and slow on the way down. You can put your neck on the ground Scissor up and slow on the way down. Ooh. Right here and slow. See your core engaged. Keep your back flat on the ground. Go as low as you can while maintaining that integrity of your back. Really focus on not letting an arch creep in. So it means you really got to squeeze in your core. That's the only way for it to stay down. So you're going to feel.
feel that burn. Thirty more seconds. Breathe slow. Oh. You should feel your core contracting from the top all the way to the bottom. You're doing great. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and all the way down. Okay, again, don't let your feet touch the ground, bring them in. For this next one, we're gonna have legs out and in, out and in. Notice my feet have not touched the ground. Keep those knees together. Keep your back flat on the ground. So you gotta crunch up to meet your knees so that your elbows can actually tap. If you've been doing these with me, you're a champ. All the way. Thirty more seconds. Remember to keep the back on the ground. Let's go, we're almost there. Last fifteen. Ten. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Excellent. Okay, now you can put your feet down. I want you to bring your legs to the side, knees together. I want you to crunch. Really feel that crunch on the side. So we're moving the tension from the center of our core to the side. You're doing amazing. Keep going and then we get to switch. Thirty more seconds. Extend that core and crunch as much as you can. Remember, we're crunching from the core. We're just supporting the neck. You'll feel like your hip wants to kind of come up too. That's all right. Just really feel that crunch. Last five, four, three, two, and switch. Other side, so now you let, your knees are gonna come to the opposite side and crunch. This is helping us get that nice hourglass figure. It's also helping any little bit of back fat that we could have. Crunch, really work those obliques. Last 20 seconds. Keep those knees together, feet on the ground. Last five, four, three, two, and one, let's go back on our backs. Extend those legs out while keeping our backs on the ground. We're gonna raise them up and down. Up 
And down. Keep going. Breathe. Keep that core tight, tight. Make sure that back doesn't leave the ground. Remember, squeeze the core. Squeeze it. Keep going. Now I want you to do these at an angle. So when you come up, bring them down to one side and then the other side. So you're gonna really feel these in your obliques. Same thing, control your back by squeezing your core. You're really gonna feel it on each side. You're gonna feel that stretch and that pull. 30 more seconds right here. You're doing amazing. Way to challenge yourself. You're challenging me. Last 15. Really feel that stretch. Let it take you over. But keep your back on the ground. Keep your upper body as even as you can while you twist your legs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. So right here, keep your feet up. Don't let them touch the ground. Now we're gonna reach for the toes and reach. <sighs> Really go for your toes on this one. All the way up, all the way down. You can point your toes back to you so you can make sure to reach them. Good. Let's go. We got 30 more seconds right here. Last 15. So again, don't let the feet touch the ground. I want you to go down and bring them up and kick. It's really important that as you're going low, your back stays flat on the ground. Low, get that butt off, off of the ground. We're almost to the end. We're almost to the finisher. You've, you've done amazing. We're over 18 minutes in. I know you can finish strong with me. Really feel that core stretching. Try to keep your feet together. Let's go. We got 30 more seconds right here. Breathe, use your core. Up and gently all the way down. Protect your lower back. Use your core. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, here's the last one and we're done. Let's see how many you can get in this last minute. So starting off with our legs back, 
Back on the ground. We're gonna do one motion and go for our toes and slow on the way down. This is just your best. However many you can get. And these last 30 seconds. Oh. Notice that I'm going slow on the way down to protect myself. <sighs> Last 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me one more. And one. Whew. Okay, I want you to stretch that out real quick because that was intense. So on your stomach, stretch back. Oh, that should feel really, really good. Keep those shoulders down. Try to reach back as far as your back and your core will allow you. You can go down and then come up again. Oh, feel that core opening up. You put in some great work right there. I'm proud of you. If you've made it to this point, you're amazing. And I know that you're serious about getting results. So make sure that you check out the website below. It's got my superfood meal plan. It's gonna help you get amazing results just like mine. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what you thought of it, up to what point you were able to stay on with me and just what you thought of it. Have a good one.